What's going on everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys another awesome tips and tricks tutorial video for Yokai Watch Blasters on Nintendo 3DS. Today's episode is teaching you guys everything you need to know about Usapion and all of his outfits. We're going to show you guys all of his hidden ones, we're going to show you guys exactly how to get Usapion, and of course his best outfit will be revealed by the very end of the video. So definitely stick around, we got a lot of information we're going to be tossing at you, so thanks for coming. Thanks for enjoying these tutorial videos, and of course, man, you guys are great. You guys are great. So be sure to hit that like button if you guys enjoy this. So we're going to go over all the stats, the different stats of all the different yokai, uh, all six variations of Usapion. We'll go over some equipment recommendations. Uh, the move sets we'll show you guys. We'll show you guys some battle in-game strats. And of course, we'll show you uh, some sorcery and medallion entries. Dude. It's going to be a good episode. So, as you guys know, Usapion is the flagship mascot yokai for Yokai Watch Moon Rabbit Crew. He's pretty great. He's he's arguably one of the best yokai in the game. If you guys take a look over here in the down uh, downstairs Wayfarer Coliseum, as soon as you have access to changing any of the outfits in the game, whether it be from Komasan to Komasan B or Jibanyan to Jibanyan B by beating the main story mode, you'll have access to this little area here. And as you guys can see, we have every single outfit available and we're going to give you guys all the information that you guys want to know about it so uh, just taking a look you guys can indeed change costumes from one of uh, definitely like six variations of Usapion yeah so we've got regular Usapion we've got the uh, football gear we've got the GI gear you've got the racing gear you've got uh, Usapion B and of course you have the scuba gear so there's a lot of good things going on with these guys let's take a look at each one of them in depth and then, of course, uh, we're going to give you guys all the QR codes and all the information you need to know in order to get them. So, for starters, you may be wondering, all right, well, how do you get Usapion, right? Like, I'm not that far into the game. How do you get him? Okay, so if you pay attention to your blaster's house over here, the phone will be ringing every now and then as you're going through the story mode. And all you have to do is answer the phone. And then once you answer the phone, there's going to be a little bit of a cutscene. You'll talk to Cap uh, Sergeant Burley about that. And then, of course, once you go into the story mode, it's going to be all the way at the very beginning of the game. So, uh, there's an Usapion mission floating around right over here. It's called the Lone Blaster. It gets unlocked very, very early in your game, but the thing is, if you don't pay attention to the ringing phone, that's uh, kind of in the background. If you play with the sound off, you'll probably never listen to it. But you have to just pay attention to that. Answer the phone, you'll get access to it. You beat the level and you automatically get Usapion. How do you get multiple Usapions? You can get them from the Cranky Kai. Or of course, trading is a thing. In case you guys have uh, two Nintendo 3DSs and multiple save files, you can absolutely trade over Usapions over there. So that's how I have access to all of them. Okay. So that's how you get Usapion. Uh, we're going to show you guys uh, exactly what the difference is. Like, why would I want to be the football one over the GI one or the racing one over the scuba one? Let's take a look at them in detail. Okay, so for starters, we've got Usapion over here. Uh, his skill is uh, extreme, so that means that increases the power of the move set to X. Pretty good. I would say that's one of the better ones. Uh, HP stat 408, strength stat 229, spirit stat you're not going to be using with this build, and of course defensive stat 132, so relatively bulky. Uh, you guys can see over here that he's got charge shot. I'll show you guys his other moves. Uh, charge shot, hail, offensive stance, and of course dodge. Dodge is very, very good, especially with the brand new update. There's more invincibility frames on it, so you're absolutely going to need dodge. Charge shot is great. I would honestly keep this move set, or you can really just go offensive stance if you wanted to. Uh, Hail again, you're really not going to be using that much. So that's his moves. Uh, his uh, his ultimate is going to be the bunny beam. You guys fire a thick beam blast. It just goes straight forward for eight hits at 60 damage a pop. So that's him. Uh, we're going to take a look at our next one right over here, which is uh, Usapion the GI, uh, the GI outfit. Looks pretty great. Uh, I mean, just based off his skills comparatively. Um, they're really not too different other than his spirit stat. Like, his spirit stat is really good. It's 120 versus 81. Uh, his strength stat is just a little under that, so that's decent. And of course, his defensive stat is a little bit lower too, so he's taking those base points off of strength and defense and putting them into his spirit stat. So that's pretty interesting. He's got air support, which is going to be a beam striking down to hit foes for lots of damage. Pretty cool. He's got access to rice ball, dodge, laser beam, which is the exact same thing that the other Usapion has. But of course, he does have access to pebble too. So out of all of the Usapion, I would say that he's probably the better suited to use pebble because uh, it's earth magic you can pretty much stay far away in the back you can drop rocks on people and you could salvage his spirit attacks that to do some work 
Rice Ball is really not that great. It only heals like a small amount of HP, and the cooldown on that is relatively long. So again, it's not gonna be worth it in Ultras if you're gonna be playing in Ultras with a healer. Charge Shot is also very good. It's a good option in case you wanna run him uh, with Charge Shot and Dodge, but then at the same time, why would you run uh, GI? Uh, over the regular version of Usapion, you know what I mean, if you're going to be ruining that uh, exact moveset. Anyway, moving on. So uh, right over here, we've got uh, the brand new Racer. Okay, so Racer is kind of cool. Uh, you guys can see over here, 415 HP, 243 attack set, which is really good compared to 229. Uh, spirit stat, again, really, really low at 71 versus 81. Defensive stat is also very low. His pedal to the metal skill is not that great. Uh, speed up when attacking, last while attacking. It's one of those uh, combo things where you keep on attacking him and then you're gonna get faster and faster and faster. But movement speed is, it's just movement speed. You're not doing any more damage, you're just moving out of the way more. I guess that can be okay, but you got Shogunyan who doesn't attack one, or you got the Glitzy Bone Soul that allows you to lower your foe's defense while attacking. And then the combo stops after battling for four seconds, so you're just gonna lose that if you, uh, if you don't attack. You guys can see over here his moveset's uh, really interesting. He's got dash attack, which is awesome. You kind of just zoom in and you attack someone. So I like that one a lot. Road Rage is a physical attack. I like that one, dealing lots of heavy damage. Rocket Wrench is very strong, but very slow cooldown at 70. And then of course you can see over here that uh, his moves are going to be slightly different as well. He's got an elemental in the form of shock, but his spirit attack is not really that great. You're not gonna be using it. Or of course you can use these speedy stance to make him go a little bit faster, but he's already doing that by attacking. So I think you're gonna be okay. So dash attack and dodge is what I'd recommend for him. Okay, moving on. Uh, we have Usapion, uh, the football version. So here we go, it says USA on there, hey. What's my name? USA. All right. So 435 HP versus 408, a little bit more bulky. Strength 222 versus 229, really not that less. Spirit stat less, doesn't really matter. And then defense is less. But what I like about him is his skill. Stamina does not increase. In case you guys are jumping on board with patrols, uh, you can bring a Sapion and he's gonna keep on running and you don't have to worry about running out of stamina. If you're farming for yokai to blend for soul three and, and max out souls, just jump in with Usapion B uh, football, and he's all set. So uh, you can see over here that his uh, his <laughs> his special is quarterback sack. So it's very strong. Swoop in to deal damage. So he's just gonna bounce on in, but he's gonna take some recoil damage. So yeah, that's okay. But it's very strong. And if you're playing with a healer, then the recoil damage doesn't even matter. He has access to quarterback smack. Uh, he's got fire. You're really not gonna be using fire that much. And then of course he's got some other moves in the form of blitz attack. So I'd highly recommend using blitz attack uh, because blitz attack is just continuous damage. You just do a lot more damage while you're uh, up front doing melee. Or of course you can use de uh, defensive stance in case you're planning on taking hits. But eventually like you're gonna get to a point in the game where you don't wanna take any damage. So boosting your defense is gonna be pointless. So blitz attack and dodge is uh, definitely what I recommend for him. Keep that in mind, pretty decent. Stamina does not uh, decrease. So those are those four. We have a couple more that we wanna show you guys. So we're not done yet. Let's uh, let's show you guys all the yokai and then we're gonna go into um, uh, showcasing them a little bit. So let's go to my teams. Uh, we're gonna use another team that I have saved over here. This is gonna be the last two. Uh, the last two variations of Usapion. This next one is going to be the Usapion uh, scuba version. You guys can see over here, he's swimming along. I like him because he's pretty unique. He's very unique in the way that uh, he has uh, his movesets. His movesets are very interesting. You guys can see over here that his HP stat is 399. You know, right around border. Uh, 223, very, very strong strength stat. Uh, spirit is 69, very low. Defensive stat, relatively bulky. But going under is kind of cool. Temporarily going to secrecy when in danger. So you're going to disappear straight up. Uh, you guys can see over here that his um, his soul ultimate is based off of a water attack, so it's really not going to be good considering the fact that his spirit attack stat is at 69, so you're not going to be using that too much. But the main crux of his set, I would say that makes him um, really interesting, is the fact that he has a uh, fallback attack, he's got dodge, he's got access to both of the very, very good uh, dodging evasion moves in the game, and he has access to vanishing act which allows him to be invisible for a set period of time. And if you combo that with the soul that gives you crits while you're invisible, you're gonna get really, really good damage output from him. So really, really like him. Uh, Vanishing Act and Fall Back Attack is really what I would uh, work on for him. Really awesome. So yeah, I think that he's great. And then Scuba Squirt is a 70 power damage. All right, here we go. Last but not least, we're going through all these guys real quick. All right, so Usapion B, by far one of the top, I would say top five yokai in the game, to be honest simply because of his entire moveset, 
his soul to mitt, his just overall stats, really, really good. HP is sitting pretty at 400, right? That's a very, very good HP. Strength's at 252. I say a really high benchmark for strength is 250. He's a little bit over that. Spirit stat, he's not really going to be using it. Defensive stat, 106. Pretty frail, but... With him, you're not gonna be in the front lines at all. You're gonna be using his skill called Sniper, higher chance to uh, for crits based on greater distance. So you wanna take a look at the radius of how far away you are from the enemy. If you're outside the radius and you're pressing the attack button and nothing's coming out of his blaster, then you need to move up a little bit more. And then once you find that sweet spot where you're right on the edge of the radius away from the boss that you're able to attack, you're gonna get so many crits. It's so good. All right, so other than that, uh, he's got access to dodge, fallback attack. Boing Blaster is going to be the exact same uh, soul ultimate as uh, Komasan and Jibanyan B, where they shoot this blaster and it goes all over the place. Really cool. And then of course, laser beam, 35 damage. Really not that strong, but uh, very far away, it is going to crit for you. Uh, the main thing about him that makes him really, really top tier material is the fact that he has fallback attack and he's got dodge and charge shot. Oh my gosh. Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, except, and, to hold on. He's got Vanishing Act 2? Dang, dude. He's got a lot of things that can make him really awesome. So you guys can see over here, you, I, what I like to do with him is I like to go dodge and fallback attack. Dodge's cooldown frames, uh, after using it, is really, really short. It's like half the speed of fallback attack. So you can use fallback attack to dodge uh, something out of nowhere, and then use dodge while you're waiting for fallback attack to come back, if that makes sense. Anyway, so these two are great. Vanishing Act, you could pair that up with uh, Venoct, uh, the Venoct soul that's like that. Um, it's one of the special souls, and you get crits while you're doing that. So that's also very cool. And of course, he's got Charge Shot. He's like Jack of all trades right here, but the fact that he has Fallback and Dodge makes him really, really top tier material. And his stats are really great. So that's really great. Uh, we're gonna take a look at that. So uh, let's do some equipment recommendations for these guys. I mean, there's really nothing uh, outside of the Oni Smasher Sky that I really wanna recommend that's released at the time of this video. Of course, there are some unreleased blasters uh, that you guys can potentially get, but we'll wait until level five uh, releases that QR code for that one. But Starlight Blaster, it's an Usapion only one. That's pretty decent, you can go for that. But of course, Oni, Sma Oni Smasher Sky is really where it's at. It's gonna increase the power of crits. There's not really going to be any of the yokai um, beside from like the GI outfit and the earth elementals that you want to use like some spirit stat for but you can if you want to be different I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it anyway and of course uh, Hellhound Bobble totally helps out too uh, gives boost to all stats to make him all around but of course I really like the Oni Smasher Sky simply because it increases the power of crits and if you put that on Jibanyan B he's able to stay right on that radius and put these crits right into them. Uh, soul Suri options for these guys, uh, I would say Tanbo Soul is great, and, uh, higher chance to cause crits. Uh, and of course, the, uh, what do we have over here? The Swell Terrier Soul increases the power of crits. So again, if you're on that outside and you're Usapion B, you can absolutely use this in order to boost up the power of those crits that you're getting every single time. Other than that, uh, there was that one soul that I was talking to you guys about. It is the dun, 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 Sneaky Soul. So Sneaky Soul can work out with the Scubo Sapion simply because you can use that uh, and then disappear, use the Vanishing Act, and then every single attack that you do will be a crit. So you can bust out your soul ultimate, you keep on pelting from afar, that also helps out. And then uh, one of my other ones that I really like for all these guys is the Hardy Hound Soul. This is like Shogun Yan's ability built in to a soul. It's attack up when attacking. So kind of like I was telling you guys about the Racer Usapian where he gets speed up when attacking, but this is attack up. So you're able to continuously pelt your attacks and it's just gonna incrementally get stronger and stronger and stronger as long as you don't drop the combo for four seconds. So I really like that one. Uh, likewise, the Glitzy Bull, so uh, Glitzy Bones Soul is gonna be over here too. Glitzy Bones Soul is right here, yes. So this is the exact same thing, but this helps out the team entirely. Uh, so like Shogunyun's attack up by attacking, this is lowering your foe's defense by attacking. So you're gonna keep on doing pelts and that boss's defense is gonna be lower so your entire team can benefit off of it. So Glitzy Bones, definitely. So those are some weapon and uh, sorcery options that I'm telling you guys, uh, looking great. I'll go into a quick battle with some of these guys, I'm really, I mean, I really don't have to show you guys uh, every single one of these yokai because you kind of know how they play. And I want you guys to scan in these QR codes that I'm gonna show you guys in the video so that you guys are all set and you understand um, exactly what's going on with them. So let's switch over to the other one and I'll give you guys a quick showcase of them. They're pretty good, 
Uh, let's see, let's go move out members. We're gonna go to my teams, we're gonna use, and then I got uh, one team right over here with some of these guys. Okay, so we got uh, a couple variations of them. Pretty decent. I'm gonna go into Gutsy. Gutsy's pretty great uh, to battle against. Uh, we can go against Shogun King if we really wanted to, but Gutsy is Gutsy's easy. I'm not gonna beat Gutsy, we're just gonna show you a little bit of how they play. Okay, so Gutsy Bones, pretty easy boss. You guys all beat up on him, I know. If you guys haven't been grinding on Glitzy Bones for that Glitzy Bone Soul, I would highly recommend it. Uh, so Usapion, pretty easy, right? He's got these little uh, these little pelts that he does. And he does a charge up attack where you can do way more damage. Of course, and you got dodge. Very nice. So coming over here, what do we have? Uh, we have the, oh, this is the scuba version. Okay, so scuba's over here. Uh, scuba, as you guys can see over here, was able to do that uh, disappearing act. And then right over here, you got the fallback attack, which has invincibility frames on it. Best move in the game. Uh, right over here, You've got uh, the GI version of Usapion, busting out the rocks, dropping the rocks on him. And of course, he's got dodge, so, and he throws these blasts, relatively easy. Okay, and then right over here, here's Racer. Uh, Racer throws wrenches, and the more wrenches you throw, you guys can see that um, you're gonna be able to do that. So you're gonna go a little bit faster. You can do fall, um, dash attack, so pretty cool. And then dodge, so. Anyway. Quick showcase of what the little characters do. The football one throws a football the exact same way as um, the wrench thrower over here. The cooldown in between each football toss is really low. So if you have the uh, the gold swirliest soul, like I showed you in my Kabu King um, episode, you're, you'll be able to chain those A attacks really quick. Anyway, let's get to the QR codes. I know you guys want them, so let's go. All right, get your 3DSs, scan this out for me. Let's go. All right, so switching over to full screen over here. Nintendo of America, right over here on October 3rd, busted out this QR code. Uh, Yokai Watch Blasters Moon Rabbit Crew update is available and add some pizzazz to outfits. Uh, you guys can see over here that this is the football gear. Usapion, thanks to our friends over at Nintendo of America. Thank you for helping provide more insight to Yokai Watch to a greater fan audience. Love that stuff. So you guys can scan this right over here. Scan it. That was enough time. You feel free to pause the video. That's cool. All right, right over here, GI Gear, Usapion. Pretty cool, dude. I like the gear. I think uh, I think he's pretty unique. Got that rice ball. He's got the, the highest spirit stat out of everyone. Awesome. Okay, so those are the two. Uh, now we're going to go into this one over here. This one's uh, from at Yokai Watch News. This one's from uh, September 25th. You guys can see over here, uh, we're going to give the uh, scuba gear. Hey, and then of course there's an extra passcode. You guys can type that in and get some pretty cool stuff too. So scan this code in, do it along with, and we're there. Okay, so that's scuba. All we have left is racing gear. You guys can see over here in season three, episode 12 recap at the very end, we have this QR code right on screen. And of course, some brand new passwords to get you guys some pretty cool stuff as well. So I like that a lot, very fun. You got access to all of those QR codes. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you guys exactly how to get the best Usapion, which is Usapion B. He's arguably the best one out of all of them, simply because of what I told you guys earlier. He's just so good. So uh, all you have to do is update your game to Moon Rabbit Crew simply for free, and then uh, head over here and then beat Buster's War, or sorry, Blaster's War. Uh, beat Blaster's War by beating one level, two level, three level, and then once you beat the uh, yokai held on the moon right over here against this mysterious yokai, I don't know who he is, you might as well uh, take a look at my Let's Play video to find out. Once you beat all three of these, uh, Usapion's gonna come right over here, we're gonna do a quick cutscene, and you're gonna have access to his outfit. So that's an automatic befriending. It's an automatic getting it, but you have to do the legwork of beating all the chapters in the game. So that's pretty good, I would say so. Uh, and then of course you'll have access to this area over here. Once you open up, it'll load, and then boom, you guys have all the outfits. So before we actually go, I do wanna give you guys the full package. We're not skipping out on any of the details on this tutorial video. You guys are finding out everything you want to know about all of these yokai. So Solcery, we're gonna take a look. Uh, I will go over to the new area, Usapion. Uh, it's pretty much, with Usapion, he's going to be giving you guys the exact same soul. Speed up when HP is full. You're not really gonna be using uh, his soul three for that. So let's go take a look at the other ones. Uh, Usapion, put them all in a row, here we go. So Usapion B, although, is a different soul because I guess his name changes. So higher chance to cause crits. So if you have an extra Usapion, throw him into uh, the Usapion B outfit and then turn him into a soul. 
and you're going to have the Usepi MB soul that has a higher chance of causing crits. That's pretty good. I like that. I like it a lot because Usepi MB needs all the crits. So good. All right, so uh, the last thing that we're going to talk about on this video is going to be, of course, the medallion entries. I want to give it a uh, full round, everything you guys want to know about the um, Usapion character. So let's do this. Roll. Actually, we're just going to go like this. We're going to go backwards. So yeah, Usapion's pretty great. Let's do that. So Usapion... I don't think there's an Usapion on this page. No, I think they're all in their one uh, area. Okay, so here we go. This is regular Usapion. This American yokai dreams of becoming a space cowboy. Anger him, and he'll go into invader mode. All right. Uh, we got Amer uh, Usapion put on some American football gear, hoping to protect himself from big hits uh, up in space. Wow, nice. Uh, right over here, uh, Usapion put on some scuba gear in case he needs to swim around underwater when up in space. Sure. Uh, right over here is the G gear. Usapion put on some survival gear, ready for whatever harsh environments await him up in space. And then right over here, the racer Usapion. We'll show you guys Usapion B2. Uh, put on some racing gear. It seems uh, it's important to be able to drive really fast up in space. Interesting. All right, let's go over to name. And then we're going to find Usapion B. And then we're going to call it a day. So, yeah. We got a... Yeah, we finished up this medallion. I hope you guys saw that video uh, where we showed you guys what happens. So anyway, here's Usapion B. Usapion in a specialist suit for terror time. Features a secret function that allows him to use the hose and enter Emperor mode. Whoa, Emperor mode. Not Invader mode, Emperor mode. So, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, all of the Usapion outfits in the game. We showed you guys exactly what their level 99 stats are. We showed you guys some equipment recommendations, some Soul Serene, their movesets, the showcase of how a couple of them play, medallion entry, how to get them. Dude, the full package. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I hope you guys learned everything you want to know about Usapion. Uh, I would say get all the costumes so that you can enjoy them, and do the legwork of getting Usapion B, because he's arguably one of the best yokai in the game. Hands down. So good. So anyway, uh, you guys can pick up one of the shirts over here. Make sure you guys answer the comment question of the day. Uh, which Usapion outfit is your favorite and why? Uh, make sure you guys are also subscribed. Turn on your notifications so you're updated on the latest and greatest Yokai Watch content on YouTube to date. Right here, right now, it's happening. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.